I needed to do this anyway, so I figured I would make a tutorial or a, a walkthrough, as it were. So, virtualbox.org wiki downloads um, on a Windows host, so I'm going to select the Windows option. I'm running Windows 10 right now. Um, you're also going to want the extension pack. Yes, the extension pack. I believe that is necessary for some features that should be included by default. So, run the installer. Run the installer. And click yes on your user account control. If if you're into that. And then whoa. That's crazy. Everything's appearing on the wrong screen. Okay. Um it's a trip. Okay. Don't destroy your stream. Uh next. Next. Uh, next. Yes. Oh, that's a warning. Uh, warning is your network connection will be reset. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. This is the virtual, this virtual box is, is a uh, hypervisor. Hypervisor is what lets our guest operating system, which in this case will be Kai Linux, communicate with our host operating system, which is Windows. So it's called a virtual machine because it's uh, it's accessing the host machine's resources and basically partitioning them so that the guest machine can pretend like it's a real computer. Kind of like Pinocchio, but the computer version. Um, so you get this up and running, cute little penguin. Uh, and now we're going to need a, an operating system. So Kali Linux is what we're doing right now. Um, you could also do Windows just as easily. If you wanted to do a Windows download, um, and then you could like hack your own virtual machine with a virtual machine. So if you wanted Windows, just Google it, download Windows 10, get the ISO, the ISO file. I don't know what that stands for, but it's basically it's basically the operating system. Kali Linux, uh, Kali.org. Do 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 do. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go to get Kali, and boom, there's like a billion options. Don't be overwhelmed. Uh, we can select virtual machines. I actually, the first time I did this, I used the installer image. Um, I believe this is ideal for bare metal, which would mean um, if I'm running this directly on my machine with no hypervisor. Uh, we're going to pick the virtual machines option, 64-bit uh, windows. If you don't know if you have 64-bit windows, um, then well, let's put it this way. If you bought your computer this decade, you probably have 64-bit Windows. Um, all right, we're going to download this virtual box image. So this is actually different from the first time I did The first time I did it, I, I got an ISO, um, and I mounted that in VirtualBox. I can show you guys how to do that um, for the Windows version. So let's see. I'm not actually... Am I actually going to... Yes, I'm going to download this. Let's just do it. Two and a half gigs. That's going to take a second. Let me see if I can create. No, I don't want to run that. I want to open the one I already have running. Okay. So you're going to go to new machine and we're going to name it Galley. And we're going to put it in the default folder. And this is going to be Linux. And the version is. I know things. It's Debian. Kali Linux is Debian based. So we're going to pick Debian 64 bit. 
The recommended memory size is 1024 megabytes. It'll run fine on that, but uh, it can be a little slow. So I'm gonna bump that up to 4096. Which now the recommended size is eight gigabytes. I'm gonna say yes, new hard disk, uh, virtual box disk image, dynamically allocated. That means it will only take up space as it needs to. Uh, you're definitely going to want to put this higher than 8 gigabytes um, because I believe a full install of Kali with all features is around 10. So I'm going to put mine at 60, uh, 69. Great. Okay. So what you would do is go to settings. Um, let's see, if you want to enable copy pasting from your host machine to your guest machine, you're gonna wanna turn on shared clipboard. Bidirectional would be both directions. Same thing for drag and drop. Um, the memory, that's what we already configured. Let's see, blah, 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 blah. Processor, you can allocate extra processors. Do not do, you know, don't allocate too many or your host machine will stop working and you won't be able to do anything. So, you know, take it easy. Uh, display, this is important. Video memory, you generally want to max it out at 128 megabytes. There is a way to go higher than that. I've never done it. Um, okay, and then this is where you would mount your traditional ISO. You would... Go to storage, bada bing, bada boom, choose or create a virtual optical disk. No, we're going to choose a disk file because technically an ISO is a disk file. So I know I just set this all up for Kali. Um, I actually have Windows 10 uh, build 21H2 ISO here, so we could we could test that out. I got a whole bunch of them. Kali Linux, Ubuntu, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so um, that's what you would do. You would pick one of those ISOs. You would launch that, and it would basically run uh, the same way as if you stuck a USB into your computer with bootable media and, and booted from a, from a flash drive with, with an ISO on it. It's the same dealio. So, our download is done. Let's, uh, bada bing, bada boom, let's check this out. Why does it keep disappearing? Okay, so this is zipped up. Let's extract and act it. 7-zip, 7-zip, I don't have 7-zip, 7-zip, 7-zipperinis, uh, 7-zip, zip a dip doop doop a doop a doop a doop a doop doop just, just forget it, just stop, give me the, give me the thing, Give me the thing with the stuff. I need a little thing. The thing. Man, I don't know. I don't know about this computer, man. Came out like a traffic jam. All right. All right, we got 7-zip. We got 7-zip. We got it. Okay. 7-zip. Ah. Yeah. Extract here. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. The .7z extension? Yeah, that's... I knew what I needed to do. Come to me on my daughter's birthday. Alright, so now we got this. Uh, wait, what? Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. So we have a .vbox file here, and we have a .vdi, which... If you look at the type, this is a virtual box machine definition. This is a virtual disk image. So I'm pretty sure if you come to me on my daughter's birthday, I just double clicked that VBox and look at that. Boom. We got a V we got a virtual, we got a thing. We got a thing with the stuff and the thing. And uh, you know, we can still go in here, we can tweak with these settings, um, we could do whatever. Let's try it on default, see what happens. Uh, I've actually never done it this way. I did the other way that I showed you with the ISO. Um, look at that. Look at that. Nah. 
Look at that. It it didn't. This is the cool thing about the pre-built um, virtual box images, like a B box files, whatever. You don't even have to install it. You just you just boot that bad boy up, and I believe the defaults are Cali Cali, and we're in. We're running Cali. Pretty sick. Pretty sweet. Awesome. Studio APT updates. You know, I do a thing and make it good. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then, yeah, the sweetness about these is, you know, you can take snapshots. You can break your machine after you take a snapshot, and then you can restore it uh, some type of way. So, you break the thing, restore current snapshot, snapshot one. Uh, that'd just be to go backwards. There's there's more granularity if you need to, you know, pick from multiple snapshots. So all right, cool. So we got we got Kali Linux running. Now we could do something like uh, we could go on try hack me, um, and we could VPN onto the platform and hack some hack some boxes, which is which is cool. Um, maybe sometime I'll make a video about dual booting Kali Linux. That's what I do right now. When I restart my computer, it gives me the option. You want to run Windows, you want to run Kali. I kind of like just running Kali on bare metal because of, well, I've experienced a lot of glitches and a lot of, uh, restrictions, not restrictions. Run, running these is great. Um, but I have had glitches. I have had resource limitations, let's say. Uh, like for example, with the with the video memory maxing out at one twenty eight megs, um, but uh, yeah, if you wanted to to connect here, you go to access, and then um, you could you could use the configuration file on your box and VPN in with uh, OpenVPN, which is free. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me show you real quick the Windows machine because I already have a, an image for that. And the I don't think they have a virtual box ready, so that's actually probably the more technically technically challenging. Uh, Windows 10. We're gonna do the same defaults. It already knows Microsoft Windows, Windows 10, 64 bit. Bada bing, bada boom. You come to me on my daughter's birthday, 4096, because because it's a multiple of eight. Uh, virtual hard disk, virtual disk image, dynamically allocated, 50 gigs is good, it's good. You need at least 20 gigs to install Windows, don't forget, don't forget. All right, uh, so for this, we go to star, what am I doing here? Yeah, I lost my, okay. Uh, so basically, we're adding a CD, if you will, which is going to be downloaded from like this website right here. You know, just uh, create create Windows 10 installation media. Hit download now. You download it, then you then it asks you, what do you want to do? And you say, I want to make an ISO, and then you make an ISO, and then. And then it will look something like this, okay. And then you say okay. And then when you boot, it'll look in just like when you would boot from a a, a computer in in real life. Uh, it'll look in the hard drive and it'll see there's nothing in here. There's no boot record. There's no bootable partition. And then it'll go to the ISO and it'll treat it like a CD and it'll run that and you'll have Windows. So let's let's let me just show you. If I did everything correct, it will happen. Shmeow. So I like one of the things I've experienced with these is like if you resize the window as it's booting up for some reason that'll cause it to crash. Look at that, we got Windows and it was all free. Everything was free. I can run Windows on my Windows. I can run Kali on my Windows. I could hack my Windows with Kali on my Windows. Uh, I don't have a product key, so you know what? I won't be able to personalize my desktop or whatever, but I want Windows 10 Pro, so there. And uh, it works. It all works. Um, 
I recommend that you get through this full install setup screen page. And then when you're done with that, you, uh, you take a snapshot because that'll give you a baseline to, uh, to go off of. What the devil? Um, yeah, see, it, it, they don't like being resized. Um, that'll give you a baseline to go off of. So get it through the, get it through the dealios, take a snapshot. That way when you break it, you can just go back to clean, fresh install. Now, if you're like me and you want to mess with your Kali and get a bunch of custom tools and a custom setup and all that, then, you know, you're not going to want to be restoring to snapshots all the time. And that's, that's part of the reason that I dual boot and, uh, and everything. Why am, why am I running in circles? The upgrade option isn't available. Oh, I keep clicking and upgrade. That's, that's why I'm bad. I'm not, I'm talking, I'm not paying attention. All right, so we can do Windows 10 Pro, I'm assuming. Um, we have to accept the license, but we can do a custom install. And then look at that. We have 50 gigs, just like we determined. Um, and, you know, you can change the settings on your virtual machine. Like if you decide you need more RAM, you can do that. You just need to close out the, uh, the machine, obviously. So you, you can't alter it while it's in use. Um, and these are cool. You can you can go bigger. You can uh, you can crash your machine if you want, or you can go scaled mode. Look at that. Look at my big screen. Um, so there you go. That's the deal. That's it. That's the whole video. That's I live streamed this, but uh, you're probably not watching in live because because nobody is watching in live. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please. Uh, Leave a like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And I will see you guys next time.